G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Nackers here, and welcome to episode 20 of my Owner Builder series. Now, as you probably already know, the frame has been built. And now, as a matter of a timing issue, we need to get that brick wall up, which borders our neighbor's boundary. And the reason for that is that we have a pretty tricky scenario with our fascia and gutter. Normally, the fascia and gutter would sit flush with the outside skin of that brickwork. But in this case, the fascia and gutter is sitting virtually on top of that brickwork and as a result we need to get some flashing made that goes over the face of the bricks across the top of the bricks then up and on top of the roof trusses before the roof iron gets installed that's why that brick wall has to get built so we can measure up our flashing and before that brick wall gets built we need to install some of this vapor membrane or isolation paper so stick around and i'll show you how to do that and don't forget to please give the video the big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers. Now my garage wall is virtually on the boundary with my neighbour. So as a result, this wall only is going to be a brick veneer construction, which will also act as a fire rated wall. Now, before we put those bricks in place, we need to install a vapour membrane to the outside of that stud work. Now I've always used a product from Bradford called Thermoseal. It's a vapour membrane and also a reflective wrap. And you'll notice how one side, it's shiny and silver, and the other side, there's a colour. When you put this stuff up, make sure you install it with the shiny side facing inwards. So here I am with the first roll of isolation paper. And like I said before, I'm doing it to a chalk line to get it nice and straight. Now I should also mention that to install that paper you use these tack on clips. You hit one into the stud and then it just bends off. It's too easy. And also when doing your paper put the first sheet on to a string line. That way it's nice and straight and you can pull it nice and tight. Now just in case you're wondering why you need to install a vapour barrier membrane like Thermoseal or any other wall wrap for that matter is that these products are designed to provide a protective second skin from wind driven rain and dirt which in turn protects the building frame, the insulation and internal linings and also some other wraps tackle things like condensation. So it's a good idea to get some advice before you go out to purchase and install your paper as different climates can require a different type of product. So there we have the wall all papered up and ready for the brick layers. Too easy. Now just a couple of extra things to think about. When installing your paper, make sure you start from the bottom and work your way up to the top with each lap of your paper being at least 150 millimeters or six inches. And just check that the paper you're using is suitable to the type of cladding that you're installing. Alrighty, where are those brickies? Come on lads, 